Okay, so I just bought this trailer and it's a beautiful Airstream as you can see. And one of the things about it was that it came with stickers from the company where I bought it. Uh, this company shall go nameless. Uh, and what I wanted to do was show you how you can remove these foil stickers from your Airstream uh, because the, the adhesive that's used on these stickers will damage the finish and eventually create what's called filiform corrosion. So come on, I'm going to show you how you do this. Uh, first thing that you need is you're going to have to get what's called a smart eraser pad. And what that looks like, and, and you're going to need your, your drill, your drill. And this is the smart eraser pad on here. And so it, it just fits onto your drill. And that's what we're going to use, okay? And then the other, the other thing that you're going to need is, um, and I'm not promoting any brands whatsoever, but you need this particular general adhesive general purpose adhesive cleaner okay and now let me show you how you get these stickers off and it's it's a bit of a process but it, it can be done and like I said this the company that put this sticker onto my Airstream shall go nameless and if you could so take a look at the sticker yeah can you see the sticker yeah all right so then you just got to start working at it and one thing that's important is that you you want to give it a fairly light touch and it's going to take a little while to do it so uh, here we go Alright, so what's going to happen is this stuff just flies everywhere, uh, so you're going to kind of take a bath in it. But that's okay, you can wash off later. And you're going to end up with it somewhat like this, and what that is, it's a bit of the mess of all the adhesive. So the next step is you get, is you get your adhesive cleaner, and you, um, you got to clean off that adhesive and then go after it again. So you can see that this um, this stuff works really well. It takes a little bit of elbow grease. You can see how it comes off, and and some of the sticker will come off with it. But what you're really doing is with the uh, the eraser pad is you're taking off that foil, and then with and it, it kind of melts it a little bit, but not really. It it, it just erases it really, and. You don't want to go too heavy because then you might burn the metal, uh, burn your paint, because this has a clear coat on it. And there you go, that's about as much as you can do. And then you gotta get after it again with the then you gotta get after it again with the eraser pad. see that it kind of smushes everything around and then the this foil gets onto your eraser pad. You kind of got to clean it off a little bit and, and it, it starts to smear around the adhesive. So that's why periodically during the process, and depending on the sticker you have, will depend on how often you need to do this, uh, you need to stop and yeah you can see how the, the foil just kind of gums up with all the adhesive but then the adhesive cleaner does a great job of taking it off.
then of course I'll have to get after the foil again after I've cleaned all this gummed up adhesive. And the whole idea between the eraser pad and the adhesive cleaner is that it's, it's not harmful to the clear coat that covers your, your new airstream. So you, you want to make sure you clean some of that gummed up uh, foil and adhesive off your eraser pad. Part of the process is where your, your eraser pad becomes loose from your drill motor. It's supposed to do that. Just kidding. And of course this foil just gets everywhere. Uh, so it, it's really nice that the people that sell the trailers put these stickers on that not only provide free advertising for them but also uh, cause corrosion and problem, long-term problems for We'll just let it, we'll just leave it at that. So we're just about there. Just got a little bit more to take care of. And we'll be done. And the reason I'm doing this is because I looked on, on YouTube and I couldn't find anything that really showed how to do it. And there you go. So without damaging the clear coat and uh, without naming the, uh, the rascals that put this onto my beautiful new Airstream, you can see it's gone, no damage to the clear coat. And if you want to, you can touch it up, uh, you know, with a little wax or whatever you want to do. And there you have it, simple as that. Cheers then.